Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Izundu if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back. So here's just a little intro to my declutter series. I'm not sure exactly how many parts I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna see how I go along the way, but I'm gonna have the same intro for each video. So welcome. Uh, if you're new here, check out some of my videos. Like if you enjoy my declutters, subscribe as well. And let's get right into it. All right guys, so here we have my eyeshadow palettes. And what I also have here is all these little mini ones that I have. My goal is to be able to declutter enough that I can put my little ones in here without having this extra bulky container. So that is my goal for today. I, uh, when I buy a palette, I really try and make it work. However, there are definitely some in here that I don't love and I'm happy to let go of. This is not going to be a 50% declutter. However, I do intend on getting rid of a few. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move it down. So we're more like this. And I think we might start with the smaller palettes. Um, that way we know what we are working with. So I'm gonna take out by brand. Okay, so here we have three from the K-Beauty brand called Chica Y Chico. I received these items in um, PR from Stylevana, the K-Beauty store. And I know that there's one that I want to keep and it's this one, which is Chili Brick. I think it performs the best. And this color here is insane it looks so good on the eye and i have blue eyes and fair skin so i just love how this one looks so i'm going to keep this one but i'm going to declutter this one i just don't think it's the best quality i the thing is i love these shades these are my kind of shades but I don't love the qualities and they're all mattes. There's no shimmers and I do love a bit of a shimmer. So I'm going to let this one go. And then this one here, the only reason I'd want to keep it is for this shade here, which is not a good reason to keep a palette. Yeah, actually, no, I think I could live without it. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. So we're off to a good start. Here I have one elf bite size shadow. And it is the Carnival Candy. And I think I want to keep it. It's not something I use all the time. I think that it's the blue that kind of puts me off. However, I do like the quality of it. So I think I'm going to keep this one. And then this one I'm always on the fence of because it's like so tiny and nostalgic. A friend bought it for me. And it's literally the tiniest eyeshadow palette in the whole world. Um, but it's Dior, which I know that doesn't make it any better, but for some reason I just can't let it go. And I have traveled with this, like, like an overnight kind of situation. Um, I just don't think I'm ready to let it go. I think it's, you know, cause it was a gift from my good friend and like, come on, are you kidding me? Like, look how cute that is. So I think I'm going to keep this one. All right. Next, let's go through my two Fenties. These are the snap shadows in number two and number seven. So number two, two is cool neutrals and then we have, what's this one called? Cadet. So I am gonna keep both of these. I think they're super convenient and I purposely got these two because they're quite different. So if I travel, I have two a cool option and a warm option and I quite like the quality it's not the best eyeshadow I've ever used in my life but I like the convenience of them and I do really enjoy the color story so I'm gonna keep these two so next are my W7 these are all W7 this one here I bought because it was one dollar and can I just tell you this what is incredible I love this and it's all dark gray grays and this white is amazing i'm going to show you what i mean when it's on the eye look at that look at that white and like i'm very fair so that's really showing up 
It, it was $1, guys. I think, let me tell you what it was called. Silky Smooth Eye Quad Shadow. If you want to look it up. I don't know if it's still available, but I got it for an Australian dollar, which is like the equivalent of like 70 cents American, which is insane. So I'm definitely going to keep that. And then I have these three Huda knockoffs from W7 called Vivid. And I just don't want to get let go of these either. They're not something I use every day, but they're quite unique for me. So we have this one here, which is pun punchy pink. I will give you some swatches. This is glow and green. And these were the neon dupes, I believe. I don't have the original hooders, I'm sorry. So I can't compare. And this one is outrageous orange. So they're not the highest of quality, but I still enjoy using them. So I'll give you a few swatches. Let's go this. See, that's good. Look at that. This is not so good, but it is more of a topper shade. And then this is the pinky. See that the, I would say the glitters are not the main event here. You can already see that this looks so different in the pan than on the finger. But here we go. Oh, I didn't use that one. Yellow is nothing to rave about. That didn't even show up. See, that one's not very good. Maybe I should let go of this one. Because that's not good. Yeah, I think I might let go of that. That does absolutely nothing. Um, and then we've got... Let me get some more yellow. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, I like that orange topper. Yeah, that one's a, it's still sheer, more of a topper shade, but it's definitely better than that green one. So I keep those two. And then lastly, I just have some miscellaneous. So they're one of each brand. So one I know I'm definitely keeping is my only Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Desert Haze quad and it's all mattes. Okay, I'm just trying to get some better lighting. So I've just changed the angle a little bit. Um, this room has not got great lighting, but here we have the Desert Haze all mattes. And I am gonna go ahead and keep this one. This one I think I'm gonna get rid of. This is from Chi Chi and I love Chi Chi. This is an Australian brand and it's called Deep Nudes. They did um, a whole range of these and this one's called the Deep Nudes. I just don't reach for it enough to keep it. And I have some other neutral palettes that I reach for more. So I am going to let go of this one, which is big for me to say, but it just doesn't speak to me like some of my other ones do. Here we have the Balm La Bamba. Now I didn't buy this. This came as like a extra in my order. I think I've used it once and it's just not very good quality. So I think I'm gonna let go of this one too. If it was really good quality, I, I would really enjoy this, but it's just not. You can see that's already hard panned and I've used this like once or twice. Yeah, no. Nah. It's just not giving me anything. So I'm gonna let that one go. And then lastly, in our small babies, I have the XX Revolution Extortion which is the green one. And I actually really love this. So I am gonna keep this one. And I will show you why I love this one. This shade here is phenomenal. Look at that. I love this. Oh, and I'll show you this one too. It's really nice. So beautiful. So yes, definitely keeping that. So of those little smalls, I got rid of five and we have kept. And that is what we have kept. So we've lost five, kept 10. Not bad for me, to be honest with you. All right, so hopefully I can find some space for these little guys. Okay, let's start with my ColourPop Going Coconuts. I love this one. I won't be getting rid of this. So this is more of a neutral palette that I would reach for um, over 
the one that I just decluttered from Chi Chi. So I'll definitely keep that. I have my By Terry, which is quite new to me. This is the Paris by Light. I think they have a Paris by Night as well. And this is Paris by Light. And this surprised me how amazing it was. This pink here is just stunning. You see, it's not even doing it justice on my hand, but on my eyes. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And this one here. They're more of that kind of thick formula, but I like how it wears on the eye so it doesn't bother me. And then this gray here is really beautiful too. So pretty. Um, here is one that I should be able to let go of, but I can't. It's from Too Faced Holiday Collection, I think 2019. And it's more of a face palette, but I do keep it here in my eye section at the moment because I don't have any space in my drawers, which you'll find out in my other videos. <laughs> but here we have a quad, and I have previously spoken that I love these two shades, but I hate these two shades, and I love this blush. So I've kept it for that reason. And I like to wear this shadow here that I'm swatching now on its own. It's like a one and done shadow for me. Oh, it's like liquid, it's so pretty. And then this one here is that kind of ready tone with the different colored glitter. It's so pretty. And then I'll show you the blush because they're the three that I like. So I am going to keep it because I do actually really enjoy using this. All right, next I have my Lime Crime Venus palette. This is one of my first high-end palettes that I bought. And as you can see, it's been very well loved. I love this palette and I don't think I can ever let it go, to be honest with you. I have a lot of nostalgia to this. This is a palette that I bought when I was first starting to get into makeup. And I was obsessed with Lime Crime and their liquid lipsticks. Um, and I bought this eyeshadow palette and even to today, the quality is so high. I absolutely love, love, love this palette and it's more versatile than you ever think it would be. So I'm going to keep this. So, so far we haven't gotten rid of any of my bigger palettes. So here we have one that's kind of smaller. It's the NYX Lingerie. And it is an all matte palette. And I love this. It looks like I haven't used it that much, but I've used this so much. It's one of those ones that I use when I don't really want much and I just want something really light, even though you can make it a bit darker. I tend to use these shades when I want something a little bit light and just out, go out the door. So I'm going to keep this because I do use it quite a bit. Next, we have the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. This is surprisingly good quality. This is a type of palette I would travel with because it's really light. And if it did break, I wouldn't have any love lost. Not because I don't like it, but because it is just one of those palettes that I really enjoy using. But if I did lose it, I wouldn't cry about it. So I'm going to show you a few swatches because it's actually really good quality. So I love this strawberry lemonade. I love sweet tea. And I love sugar coated. Look at that, look at that, such good quality. Next we have a Morphe and I just recently got this from work. I work in a beauty store so I do get a lot of free makeup as well so I do wanna let you guys know that. Most of what I have I've paid for but I do get some free. This one was free. This is the 9T and I basically got this because they repackaged um, but the palette is the same I think. So this is a really good neutral. I had this in my shop, my stash, either, I think maybe the last round, and I really enjoyed using it. Uh, like, Morphe is in the highest of quality, but the ones that I do have, I do quite enjoy. So, I am going to keep this as a nice, very neutral eyeshadow palette. Next, I have my ColourPop Bye Bye Birdie. And I do like this. I do like this, I just don't use it enough. So here I'm I'm kind of having to face the music of what I do and don't use. And I'm kind of getting more into pinks again. I kind of was 
not fell out of love with them for a while but I'm getting back into it like these three shades are really speaking to me so I think I want to keep it and I, I really need to try it again I need to put it in a shop my stash or something and like is that a there are two pressed glitters in here that's super annoying but I am going to keep this and try and find my love for it because we've got two super shock shadows as well really beautiful all right, next we have my KBD Vegan Beauty. This is quite new to me as well. This is the original one. They've just come out with a new one. And these are their recyclable palettes. I love this palette. I'm going to swatch some for you because it's absolutely stunning. And I didn't realize how much I would love it until I started using it. I was just like, wow. So I will show you a matte. But it's really the shimmers that stand out here. Let's go this one. Oh my God, look at that. It's like crumbling. Let's go this one too. But even the mattes are so beautiful and soft. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I think Samantha Ravendell did a, a good review on this one. Very versatile palette. You can go really neutral and basic, or you can go full glam. I just love that. And let me do this one too, because it looks so sexy. Really did a good job on this palette. The new one looks really nice too, a little bit more muted. So definitely be keeping this one. I know it looks like I'm not keeping anything, but we've still got a ways to go. This next one I'm going to declutter. In my last declutter, I said to myself, if I don't use this or don't still don't enjoy it, I need to get rid of it. And I don't use it. And I've since acquired other palettes that I feel like, not exactly like this, but for what I wanted to achieve from this palette, I can achieve from other palettes. So I am going to let it go. I just wish it worked better for me, but... It just didn't. There's just something about it that's missing the mark. But I love this color story. But I just didn't love the formula. So I'm actually really sad to say goodbye to this. Because I really, really, really wanted to love it. But it just didn't work. So I'm going to let this one go. Here we have an Australian indie brand. Lucky Bunny. The palette is called Gluttony. And when they first came out with this, I was like, oh, this is speaking to me. I don't often wear blues, but... These other tones in here, like I do love green, purples and browns. I thought it was such a beautiful palette. I need to use this more. I think because it's so colorful, I tend to not gravitate regularly to these kinds of palettes, but I love to have them on those days where I do want some color. Um, and this one is very pretty. I do recommend this. Especially if you're Australian, support local. Okay, so we've done one whole row up here, so we're on to the second row. I kind of go from small, like my rows are like small, medium, large, so I can see everything. So these three are brand new to me, so I will not be letting go of them. I only got them in the past month. This is the Torps. Oh my God, I fell in love with this one. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. And that's what I mean by like the matte, meat matte. They're both that kind of really soft, neutral color, which I love. So uh, that is one that I feel like I could replace it with, and it's just stunning. Then I have the sweets, the sweet pinks, and I loved this one too. Oh my gosh. Uh, look, I'll, look, I'll do a couple of swatches from each. How about I do that? I don't want to swatch everything. Oh, I love that tone. So pretty. And then from pink, we have to go this one, don't we? Oh my gosh, look at that. And then I'll do this one as well, because it's so pretty. Look at that. If you want to go like fully pink, get this palette. Oh my God, it's stunning. And then lastly, we have the violets. It's probably my least favorite. I don't think I've uh, properly, I think I have used it. 
But I said when I first got this in my haul that these two colors are too similar. This is just a little bit more cool tone and that's a little bit more warm toned. And that kind of annoys me a bit. I feel like they really could have done a different purple in here, like a really neon purple. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to keep it because they're brand new to me and I want to play with them more. And then we have my... I will not be getting rid of any of my Juvia's Place. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to show you what I have. The Afrique. This is like not that popular, but I love it. This green here, Togo and Angelique. This here is stunning. Like it's half colorful, half neutral. Really good palette to travel with to travel with if you like both color and neutral. I really like it. Uh, we have the Deuce, which is my favorite of all of them. The quality and the colors. Oh, I'll have to swatch this one, won't I? This is outstanding. This is outstanding. This is also outstanding. Oh, you know what? They all are, but some are just like, wow. Like, oh, that pink shift. Like, is this a joke? Is this a joke? Oh my God, I'm in love. Hello. And that's just a really nice transition shade. But it's so nice and soft. Oh my gosh, one more, come on. Which one? This one? All right. I heard ya. Oh. Talk about the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I just realized in my shop, my stash, which I'm going to be doing after these declutters, I also have the Warrior, which is new to me. I bought it with the other three palettes. Um, and I love, love, love. I've been wanting this for so long and I finally got it. So I keep moving it so you can see in better lighting. I'm trying to get the best lighting. There we go. So yeah, I love this one. We'll be keeping that. I have the Tribe. Which is another, oh, I say they're another favorite, but you know, like I've got a, quite a few. So I have a few favorites, you could say. Uh, I just think this is so unique and such high quality. I just love this palette. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And this like greeny brown here is like nothing I've ever seen before. I just, oh, 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 is all I have to say. And then lastly, I have the Warrior very well loved and this is all matte this white shade here is phenomenal and this Kana like sometimes I'll go to this when I want something that just like neutralizes my lid like these two here oh my god even like these three as a look just spectacular I could just never ever let go of my Juvia's Place palettes I just think they're the best 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 so I bought these in a set from Beautylish and it was basically the price of one. I forget because it's in American dollars, which throws me off. But basically it was incredibly good sale. Then we have the camel. It's camel, isn't it? Yeah. Camel. And coral. I think coral is one of my favorites. I think this is my favorite one. So pretty. So I'll be keeping all of those. Fenty is this is one of my favorite palettes of all time it's it's a compliment what do you call this a com, companion palette is that what you call it oh my god i can't remember the word where you would need another palette with it because they're all kind of topper shades but my god i love it some people hated it but i don't think they really understood the point of this palette it's not something that you just wear alone i mean you absolutely can uh, and I have, but I think it's one of those palettes where it, if you want that kind of beautiful, different kinds of shimmers and toppers, you've got your options here. And I just love it. I don't think I could let go of this one. Okay, next we have one I've been on the fence with, and this is Marc Jacobs because I don't reach for it all that much. And the thing is, it's not the best quality, but it's also not the worst. I'm just so on the fence with it. So I think I'm going to put this in a maybe pile and see how I go at the end. Uh, here we have my only Kaleidos one, our uh, Kaleidos um, eyeshadow palette. This is the Futurism 6 Lunar Lavender. And I did not keep the name sheet. I find them very irritating. So I got rid of it. I think I'm going to keep this one for now. 
I think it was this shade that I didn't like. It was one of these shades I didn't like. But the rest of them were phenomenal. So I think I'm going to keep it. It's not something I reach for all the time. Uh, but I do love a purple eye. So I'm going to keep this one. And then next we have my three Australis palettes, which is an Australian uh, beauty brand, makeup brand. And if you're Australian, these are some of the highest quality eyeshadows I've ever used. I love Australis eyeshadows. My favorite, this is probably my least favorite. I'm on the fence about this one too. I kind of want to keep it because I, I have three. It's not all of them though. It's not like I have all of them. I'm scared to swatch it and then fall in love with it again. Um, let me think about that while I talk about these two. Beach Days is oh incredible. I'll definitely be keeping this one. It's such a warm, fun palette and the quality is just impeccable. So I'll keep that one. And then Pop Culture is my like cooler toned version. It's like beach, beach Days and Pop Culture are completely different and I freaking love both of them. This is a duo tone here. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. Look at that. Come on, Australis. Coming through. This one I love. Look at this quality. And let's do a matte. Does not disappoint. So definitely keeping that one. Maybe I will swatch my neutralize and see if it's up to par. Because I feel like they've been upping their eyeshadow formula game. Okay, so shades that I usually use is this one. Oh, I think it's going to be good, you know. Look at that. Ooh. Let's go this. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Oh. See, this is what I was fearing. Let's go this brown shimmer. Fantastic. Okay, i got to keep this one. Fantastic. Are you kidding me? Let's go with these kind of like longish sized ones. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time, Zoeva Blank Fusion. It does not exist anymore and will not be getting rid of it. I wore this on my wedding day. Um, I wore like these tones here and it's just perfection and that's all I have to say about that. It is perfection. Here I have my, uh, I think this is my only Urban Decay naked. Yeah, it is. This is the Honey and I really love this one too. So I won't be letting go of that. It's a really good quality palette and I love these soft muted neutral tones. So I love that. My Too Faced Sweet Peach. I will keep this. This is a brand that I sell at my work. So it's something that I wear for work because it's sellable. Um, whereas sometimes when I wear an eyeshadow to work that's not sellable and someone asks me, it's difficult. It's a difficult answer. But this one, I will keep for that reason. And I do really like it. I think it's great quality. Um, but that is one of the main reasons I'll be keeping that. This is probably my favorite palette of all time. Natasha Denona. Oh, Natasha, why this was a limited edition, I'll never understand. I'll never understand it. And I'm sure you guys want me to swatch this one because it's a popular one. So, what am I going to swatch? I kind of want to swatch this one. And this green. And... This, I think this is a cream to powder. Oh my lordy lord. And then let's go this one here. Oy. Okay. Look at this. I feel like I just died and gone to heaven. <sighs> yeah, that cream to powder. So I have really hooded lids. And I get a lot of creasing very easily if I don't prime my lids. Their cream to, cream to powder formula I was afraid of, but it's actually totally fine. Um, so if that's something you've been worried about with the D Natasha Denona cream to powder formula, do not fret. I found it to be very thin so it doesn't crease. Do you know what I mean? It's things that are like kind of... <sighs> Thick that can tend to crease 
and it's just not like that at all look at that oh my lord sigma this is pretty new to me as well this is the untamed and uh this is a color story that i vibe with very much so i won't be letting this one go either absolutely stunning okay so this one here is something quite unique for me it's the bird uh, forever flawless birds of paradise and it's all very neon shades and that's why i'm going to keep this one because it's something that i don't have quite like it so i'm going to keep this it's definitely not a standalone palette for me there's no transition shades in here this white is really good this kind of creamy shadow here you can kind of see how it looks a bit different to the others is really really pretty and I love the oranges and reds in this. It gives me a really vibrant neon kind of eye. And I do love it. So I'm going to keep it. But it is something I don't reach for all the time. And then here are my singles. I have other singles, but these are like my old singles. So these were in my project pan that I panned. Uh, and you can see I've had some really good use out of this palette. I am going to keep it for now. Um, both for nostalgia and I just, it's one of those palettes that if I really want something super basic, I do come to this one. So I am going to keep it for that reason. All right. So next we have my revolution collection and I think I need to let go of a couple of these because I don't reach for them and I just feel like I have some better formulas. Now, one that I definitely know, I think there's definitely two or three I want to keep. They're very dirty. I've, they're very well loved. This one is one of my favorite ones. This is the basic matte, so I will be keeping this one. I love these kinds of tones. Very easy and simple. So I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep this one. This is the Neutrals 3. Every time I use this, I get an incredible outcome. I love these ready tones. I love ready eyeshadows, um, coppery tones, right up my alley. So I'm going to keep that one. This one I'm going to get rid of. It's not a good formula. This is Visionary. I think it's a dupe for the Norvina, the original Norvina, not the new one. And I just don't love it. And I feel like a lot of these tones are in this one, these cooler tones. And I'd much rather the other one. So I'm going to let go of this one. This one is quite new to me. This is the Foil Frenzy Creation Intensely Pigmented Foil Shadow Palette. So I got this in a mystery box from Glam Raider, the Australian um, makeup distributor, retailer, I should say. And I quite liked this one. I think I'm going to keep this one. It's just something I need to reach for more. Now that I'm decluttering, I'm hoping that it'll lead me to focus on what I love a little bit more rather than being overwhelmed by products that I'm not too sure about. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to get rid of this one. I, I have barely used it. And these tones are just something I absolutely love. However, I think I can let go of this one because it's just not something I reach for enough to justify keeping it. And these two shimmers are very, very lackluster, very disappointing. Um, and this is hard for me to say because these tones here are just everything for me. Oh, no. I just don't think it's that good a quality, though. I think I have better. I think I do. So I'm going to let go of it. And then this last one is something I'm very much on the fence with. This is a soft glam dupe. This is the Velvet Rose. Oh, I've used this one a lot and I really like it. But do I need it? Do I love it enough as these, much as these ones? I kind of do. I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe because I'm actually quite unsure about that one. So of the, of the six, I'm keeping three for sure pretty good for me because I used to love these bad boys and now we're getting into my big palettes ah <sighs> Chi Chi the Australian brand Chi Chi so this is my newest Chi Chi palette let me zoom out a little bit actually because these are too big <laughs> this is called the super nude palette 
And I loved the color story of this, but I don't love the quality. Now I've previously raved and raved and raved about Chi Chi quality, but this just wasn't it for me. And it hurts my soul because I've used it only a few times, but I think I'm going to declutter it. And I think I have a friend that would love this palette because I have a lot of friends that don't really love, they don't love makeup like I do, but do have makeup. And I think she would really enjoy this one. So I'm going to let go of it. It's really hard for me, but I don't reach for it. So I'm going to say goodbye. That was hard. This one here is my Profusions Chocolates palette. Wow. She's beat up. Absolutely beat up. I had this in here because I was, this was in my project pan and I was using it daily as an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to declutter this palette. I tried to pan this and I got very close, but I didn't. And I just think I've had my use out of it. Uh, I don't know if anyone would even want this because it's so beat up. Uh, it's like, it's still very much usable, but the packaging is so cheap. It makes it look really beat up. So I am going to let go of this one. I think I've had my money's worth out of that. Okay, so this one here is a hard one for me. This is my first, one of my first ever like big eyeshadow palettes that wasn't just like a single that I used every day. You know, the days where you just bought one single and use the same shade every day. Uh, this is kind of when I started getting into makeup and it's very nostalgic for me. I love this palette and it's actually... In my opinion, the best quality they had in a palette. So the other one that I just decluttered is like their newest palette. And this one is really, really old and it's better quality in my opinion. So for me, this is something I would still use all of these tones. That's why it's really difficult for me. This is one of my most favorite shades ever, as you can tell. <sighs> I don't think I can let go of this. I keep telling myself that I should. But I just don't think I can because I still really enjoy using it. It doesn't look like I've used it that much, but that's because there's so many shades. And now I have so many eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> but I think I am going to hold on to this. Please don't judge me, but it's... I just can't explain the feeling I have with this palette. I'm sure we've all got a few palettes like that where you kind of know... Sorry, I just cleaned it. You should probably let go of it. But I do still use it. That's the thing. It doesn't just sit here. So I am going to keep that one. I'm going to do it. Here we have some single shadows. Here we have Enchanted Luster, which is an Australian indie brand, but they do ship worldwide on Etsy. And then here we have my Sydney Grace. And then I just added these two um, deep potted shades from an Urban Decay palette. At, so I could have like a little bit more versatility if I wanted to use this. I kind of made it a palette in a way. So I will not be letting go of these. These are very special to me. So, but I still have some space if I want to buy more. <laughs> okay, this one here, I'm not too sure. This is my very dirty BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil Rio edition. And, oh, that doesn't want to bend. These are all shimmers. I think I can let go of this one, you know. They're actually phenomenal shimmers. I think they're fantastic quality, but I think it's time I let go of it. I have some other ones, basically, I think I would go to anyway. So I think I might let go of this one, even though I really enjoyed using it. Goodbye, I'll miss you. I'm trying to be an adult here and make big girl decisions. And then we have my Melt Cosmetics 420 palette. I love this palette. Haven't used it nearly enough. It looks untouched. I have used it, but it looks untouched. Um, so I'm going to keep this. I would like to get more use out of it. It's quite new to me. And then this one here was in also in my Shop My Stash. And this is the Morphe 35i Icy Fantasy. I think it was the collab with Pony Cosmetic. Pony, the uh, influencer. That's the word I'm thinking of. So this is a palette that I would only recommend for very fair skin because the colors do not have that payoff that you would th intend for it to have and I think that's partially because it's a Morphe palette however for me I don't mind that it's really soft because that's why I like it so much 
I, d I like that it's not an intense pigment. I like that it's really soft and I kind of appreciate the shitty quality if that makes any sense. I actually wore this today. Um, some of these shades are just stunning. Some of them are forgettable, but it, there's enough of this palette that makes me want to keep it. It's very unique to my collection and I do reach for it. I really enjoy using it. Unfortunately, it's no longer available, but I just love it. So I'm going to keep that. And then I'll just show you those new palettes that I got. Okay, so here I got the Amrezy palette. I got it on sale at Sephora. And so I have not used this yet, but I'm very excited to. And as you will have noticed, this is my only ABH palette. And then I got a couple of palettes from Colourpop. So I got the Boudoir Noir. And, oh, so beautiful. And I think this is the reason why I can let go of this one here. To me, they're a little bit similar. Do you see what I mean? They've got those kind of muted olivey tones. And I think this one will be a much better quality. So that's kind of why I thought I could get rid of this one. And then I bought the Sandstone palette, which is just such a beautiful color palette. Really nice and neutral. This yellow is outstanding. And I haven't used, I haven't used any of these. These are like brand new to me. So I'm really excited to play with those. Anything else? Oh, my two maybes. My two maybe babies. Okay, what am I going to do with these two? I think I'm going to let go of this one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to let go of it. I think I'll be okay without it. And then this one is the one that I'm really struggling with. Oh, hey. I think I'm going to keep this one for now. I just, I can't say no, which is really bad, but I think I want to keep it. So I am. All right, let's do a little count. I'm definitely kept more than I've decluttered, but bear with me. I'm going to leave a little count, get a count. So I have 51 palettes that I'm keeping. I'm getting rid of 12. So definitely keeping more than I'm getting rid of. Here are all the ones that I'm getting rid of. And you know what? That's actually pretty good for me. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, that's not bad for me. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's everything. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you are one of those people that um, gets really annoyed when people don't declutter enough, I also want to appreciate what I have, and I shouldn't have to explain that. I enjoy the makeup that I have. I use the makeup that I have, and I don't really need to make an excuse for what I keep. But I thought it would be fun to share with you, to swatch with you, and show you what I love and don't love. Okay guys, I just decided to organize everything and I struggled to get everything in. I couldn't get this in. I got everything else in. I cleaned everything. It's all here. But I think I'm going to let go. I'm going to keep the palette, the magnetic palette. I think I'm going to throw all of this out or donate it, I should say. I don't think I need it anymore. I think I think I was holding on to it because it was like one of those palettes I had. Well, I used to just use the singles, actually. Everything here fits. Just. This is little little strangler over here. It's barely getting in. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I have. This is the only way I can set up my eyeshadow palettes at the moment um, due to space. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is everything. Let me know how you think I went. I like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.